Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. Today is a special episode. There's been a lot of news in the VR industry going on in the last few days, and I think it's really important to bring that to you. The Verge has reported yesterday on January 23rd, 2020, that Oculus is officially dropping the Oculus Go. Oh my God, no, why? But what does this mean for the industry? So the news came just as a few weeks ago, Oculus Go had dropped the price by $50 to 149 US dollars. But this is very sudden news. So what does it really mean? What are they really trying to tell us? Are they just trying to dissuade the market and, and make them run in an opposite direction? Because Pico, of course, have their own 3 dot headsets and Panasonic just released an Ultra HD a VR wear, which look absolutely amazing. Are Oculus planning maybe an Oculus 2? Is that why they suddenly brought it away? We don't know. Leave a comment below, I'd love to know what you guys think about this because it's big news for the VR industry. Other big news in VR, which also includes augmented reality. The last company who published an article in regards to Mojo AR contact lenses. That's right, they're working on a prototype at the moment that enables you to see additional information without having to wear glasses. Now we know that AR is gonna be as big as VR. HoloLens have reportedly sold already 50,000 units and you know they're pretty expensive. They're almost 4,000 US dollars or something. So not too bad, even though they're focusing more on the B2B kind of market compared to the Quest who sold maybe a million uh, units so far since last May in 2019, but more towards the consumer driven. Now, we also know that Oculus are also working on a AR VR device for potentially, we don't know if it's the next generation of VR devices that will come out or the generation after that. But the fact that Mojo is already working on contact lenses to provide a solution that's going to augment reality, which, okay, we don't really have the details as to when this will actually be released. And so far, the technology is still very much in its infancy. So there is no 2020 date for human use, but we know that the technology is already in its infancy and they've been ready to release some of their findings. All right, time to talk about some gameplay on the Oculus Quest. Woo, guys, I'm really excited about this one because Doctor Who The Edge of Time VR is now whoo, available. That's right, you can play it, you can download it, you can install it on your Oculus Quest. And remember, click the subscribe and bell notification because I've been provided a key to review this bad boy. So if you click on the bell notification, you'll be notified when I will upload that cool video for you. That's right. But I hope it's going to be longer than, you know, Star Wars because it's only half an hour or 45 minutes. I hope that this one really provides four, five, six or more hours of gameplay. Even though GameSpot, TakeRadar and Upload VR have said it's amazing, it's true. The trailer looks fantastic. I think it's a very well-made trailer. Of course, it's based off the TV series, which is running for 20 or 30 years now. I mean, extremely popular, which has touched millions of people around the world. So I'm really looking forward to this one. We have the Saint Sinners Walking Dead in VR, which just got released. Oof, based, of course, on the popular TV series as well, like Doctor Who. This really promises to be mm, something to give you fright. I will try this game as well and do a review and upload it to the VR Essentials channel. So do come back for that one as well. Other VR experiences available on the Oculus Quest and other platform. Let's talk about Tribe DJ School, which is a fantastic app. If you're not familiar with Tribe XR, also known as, it basically provides you the opportunity to play as a DJ with real equipment that is exactly the same in the real world, but in virtual reality. And you can invite up to 16 people in the same room. That's right, now that's pretty awesome. Now what's new with Tribe XR, however, is that they have a new feature called Rooms, which is a bit like big screen, where you can join a public room and basically DJ with other people in public. They can come in the room and DJ with you or just hang out and dance around. Really awesome. I'm gonna try this new feature out and upload a new video about this very soon. Anti-Latency have released a new dev kit which is available for purchase from $365 US and upwards. 
And this basically comes with floor pads that you put on the floor where you put the sensors and also the hardware that you would put on the actual person itself to get that tracking. And the great thing is that these pads can also be custom fitted for the ceiling if the floor, the, the floor itself is not suitable for that specific location. So really cool news, really looking forward to trying out some full body tracking in the future using the Oculus Quest. A and VR have also sent me their magnetic charging kit, which enables you to basically charge your Oculus Quest without having to plug any wires in it. And I'm really looking forward to testing this out. So remember to subscribe on the channel as I will be reviewing this bad boy and giving you the lowdown about this thing. Thank you for watching this VR news segment. I hope it was helpful to you. Leave a comment below if you'd like me to do some more or if there's anything you want me to change, you know, I'd love to gain your suggestion and your feedback. I will be giving away this Oculus Go brand new 64 gigabytes upon hitting a thousand subscribers. So if you subscribe, your name will automatically be put into the lucky draw and you could win this bad boy. I will be giving away an Oculus Quest, but not until we hit 5,000 subscribers. So that will be for a separate competition after we do this one. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate your support. And until next time, take it easy, DJ Q Music.